Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in YouTube. I'm going to show you three different ways to create a timestamp link to your videos. A timestamp link will allow you to embed a video or share a video from YouTube and have it start at exactly the time that you specify. Timestamps are great if you're sharing a long video. Maybe you're sharing a TED talk, but you want people to jump right to 14 minutes and 33 seconds. Well, with the timestamp, it'll open the video at exactly that part. Or maybe you're doing a blog post and you have a specific step that you want people to go to to display whatever you're talking about. That's a great way to do it. Okay, here we go. We're gonna use my how to make corn on the cob in the microwave video as the demonstration today. And I'm gonna show you three different techniques to create a timestamp. So first thing you wanna do is go to the place in the video that you want to start at and just drag the playhead to the place you wanna start. For this video, I'm gonna to jump to two minutes and 25 seconds, I know. Now that we have the playhead at the correct time, just go right here to share. Share, you can now copy this link. You can paste in a text message, email. You can embed it on your website. If you check this box, now you can see here, it's gonna start at two minutes and 25 seconds. No matter where you send the link or embed the link, it's gonna start at two minutes and 25 seconds. Pretty cool. You can also do the same if you wanna choose the embed code, just click this. You can see right here, this little box is checked. If it's, if you wanna change it, you can always drag the playhead and do a different time. Okay, method number two for creating a timestamp. Doesn't get much easier than this one. Just simply drag the playhead to wherever you want the video to start. Right click on it, copy video URL at time. Just press it and you can see here, it copied the link to your clipboard. Paste it wherever you want and it'll start at the same time. So that's method number two, right click. And while you're in this menu, be sure to check out my favorite, Stats for nerds. Method number three is kind of an advanced tip, but it's a pretty good one to know. So you can actually type in just a tiny little snippet of code and you can create your own timestamp. Let me show you here. If we click on the little box, what it does when you create a timestamp is all it does is add this little snippet of code. T equals 2M 25 seconds. That's just saying time equals two minutes and 25 seconds. Pretty easy, right? Uncheck it, it goes away. Check it again, that's all it does. So if you can remember to do this with any YouTube video link, all you need to do is type in what time you want it and you can create your own timestamp. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this. We're gonna test to make sure this works. We're gonna paste it into a WordPress blog post. I'm gonna hit preview here. It should start right at two minutes and 25 seconds. And there we go, boom. What's cool is now you see this link, now that you know that this is, again, all you need to do on any YouTube video link is just type in T equals and what time you want. If I change this to zero five or just change the time, you can manually change this. It's pretty self-explanatory. Now, if I go back to this, when I hit play again, it should start right at 2.05. So that is how to create a timestamp in YouTube. Cheers.